I just wanted to show a little part of the land that's on the side of the house and show you guys how I managed to have all these plants for everything here cost me two dollars total so this was a pumpkin that I was given while I was babysitting to carve with my kids they got one and I got one and I took the seeds after we had carved and I planted them and this one grew and it has some beautiful flowers right now and even a little pumpkin forming and I'm very proud these are from a neighbor's gift of seeds and these are California poppies. I have a planter box that my friend gave me. It was on their porch and they needed the space and he was going to throw it out and I said I'll take it. This yerba mate I got at a plant exchange. Uh, there were some little bugs and so the leaves aren't doing well right now but I rinsed them all off and you can use DE to get rid of your bugs if you've got them and it's starting some new little growth in here so I'm optimistic that it's going to make a good recovery. I have a raspberry shoot and an avocado started from a pit and those were both free. I have a bit of aloe that I found on the street. Someone had pulled it out of someone's yard and I just took it. So this hibiscus is what cost money. My friend and I were at a yard sale and he wanted to do something nice so he bought me this for $2, this beautiful hibiscus. These cosmos were free and they've been volunteering for the past few months. I initially planted them with seeds that I got from a neighbor. And then this mint was taken from another section of mint. I found this aquarium that was on the street because it has a fracture in the top, someone threw it out, but it makes a perfect little makeshift greenhouse, so that's where I start my seeds now. And that is just my small plot that's on the side of the house, one of many, and everything here was basically free. So if you don't have a lot of space or a lot of money, you can still have a wonderful garden.